you are watching Neck Easy. Our today's topic is investment casting. In case you haven't watched my previous video, I request all of you to watch my previous video which was about casting so that it will help you understand today's video. Alright, so let us quickly start today's video. Investment casting comes under expandable pattern technique means we use expandable patterns in this type of casting and the patterns used in this are made up of wax so initially we produce wax pattern through this dye this is the injector through which we will be injecting wax into this dye and we will be getting this kind of pattern so many such wax patterns are made with the help of this dial and these patterns are then mounted on the runner assembly this is a runner assembly and these are the patterns which are mounted on it and this is the pouring cup through which we will be pouring our molten metal now once the runner assembly is made there is this slurry tank in which it is dipped the slurry tank consists of silica floor, ethyl silicate and water and some binding acids as well so this run assembly is dipped into the slurry tank three or four times until and unless the desired thickness of the shell is attained once the desired thickness is attained it is coated with very fine grains of ceramic and then what we get is this shell which is coated with ceramic so afterwards this shell is then heated in order to remove the wax and the liquid wax comes out through the pouring cup. So once we have removed all the wax from the ceramic shell, we then proceed to pour our molten metal into the ceramic shell. And then it is allowed to solidify for some time. After solidification process, the ceramic shell is then broken down with the help of vibration techniques. And this is the casting which we get. This is the final product which we get. So that was all about the investment casting process. Now let's look at the applications of this process. Investment casting is usually used for small jobs. And it is used for mass production. Alright. So it finds its application in gas turbines uh, gas turbine blades then uh, jewelry medical implants dentures and some jet engine parts this is one of the mostly used methods of casting because it provides very high accuracy and good surface finish and materials with high melting points can be used for this process but there are some disadvantages also that is this process is very time consuming and to minimize the gas effect this process is always done in vacuum conditions so that's it guys for today's video if you have any queries regarding this video please let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i post new videos every alternate days see you in the next video bye